So I played an open alpha for this. And I liked it very much. This however is quite a bit more complicated than the open alpha I played. Hey guys, welcome to Unmodded Gaming, I'm the Unmodded Gamer and today I'm a playing a new game called Snowtopia. Now, I have played this game before, just to see what it is all about. And I think it's not as complicated as the other games that I have played here. I mean, it sure is a lot less complicated than Planet 2 for example, which I still struggle with quite a lot. But it's more complicated than, say, Prison Architect. So it is... a bit... intermediate. When we're talking about it, how complicated it is. But... as I was unable to finish the things from Transport Inc., I decided to try out a new game. And I'm going to begin with Mount Alpha. Just a small, nice little mountain. And it shows a difficulty score here. As you can see, we have Mount Alpha, Frozen Peak, Crater Lake, which is just that bit more difficult than Frozen Peak. And I've tried Frozen Peak once. It didn't go very well. But anyway. Then we have White Canyon, Volcano Heights, Wavy Valley, and Four Faces, last but not least. So it looks like we don't have one with uh, all five of these things being difficult. Now, I don't know what that means, the difficulty. Maybe how difficult it is to make four different types of ski slopes, that might be it, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. And the last little thing that I want to say before we start is, I have actually played or skied a lot, and I'm pretty good at it. So when I saw this game come out on Steam, I was pretty excited, but starting out I'm going to skip this, because like I said, I've already played this. So we have a pretty simple first few steps, camera zoom, camera movement, camera rotation, and opening the game help. Okay. Right, so now that we're done with that, I'm going to build a construct. Builder's Lodge. So I'll go into the Constructions menu, select the Builder Lodge, and place one right down here. Now I'm going to have to make them stand pretty close to each other, and you'll see why in a minute. But for now, I'm going to assign this and get two people in here. Because they will actually build whatever it is that needs to be built. Don't ask me who builds that first thing. That's kind of like the chicken and the egg question. But I'll look at the lifts and build a nice small skiing lift. Area too steep for building. Right, here I can put it, but it is rather inconvenient because then I can't make my slope. Gradient too steep, area too steep for building. So I can 
Only make a very small one, it looks like. If I want to get a slope, that is. I'm going with a large slope. And I'm going to try and make this a green hill. Or a green slope, I should say. So as you can see, the escalator is being built, or the skiing lift is being built, sorry. And what I will also do is go into the maintenance and get a ski patrol lodge. And I'm gonna need that later on. And you, why? That is, you will see that probably in another episode. So keep this in mind, the ski patrol lodge. Things do go pretty fast, especially in the beginning. Because I've played this before, of course I have to wait for the things to be built, but apart from that, it is going pretty fast. Now, I can get volunteers, as you can see, and I get new volunteers every so often. I don't know how long that is in total, but I have to wait another 45 minutes in game for the next one. Right, so I didn't really expect this, but my ski patrol lodge was built before the ski slope was built but it does make sense since well what the ski patrol does is pretty important when you have a skiing slope of course we're starting out nice and small and we have the ski slope right so let me now go ahead and select the skier there are quite a few of them right so we got that one now let me look at what else we have to do aim a camera at a skier we do that by doing that build a green slope i got that build a blue scope slope I will get into that in a minute, but for now, I'm going to look at the history of the sphere. As you can see, it is in a queue and a ski lift. And speaking of queues, it's getting pretty crowded down there, so let me just go ahead and build a second ski lift so that people don't all go there. Right, for my second ski lift, I was planning on making a two-person fixed grip chairlift. Area too steep for building. Right, there we go. Now, this is going to be a blue slope this is all green right this is better this is blue this is blue and of course at the end it is getting less steep but that makes sense because the hill is almost completely flat at the bottom right so I'll also get a ski patrol lodge up here. And we are going to need this one even more than the one we had built up here. Right, look at them go. That 
that is all going pretty nicely of course apart from the huge queue that is forming up but there isn't much we can do about that just hope that we can soon open another slope so that they aren't forced to take this or to stand in this queue now we are also going to have to build something else soon but first let me just see how well this goes and it's almost done it looks like So I played an open alpha for this and I liked it very much. This however is quite a bit more complicated than the open alpha I played before this game was even announced on Steam. Let see, I have seven people available. Right, so I'll put one volunteer in this chairlift and one more in this steep patrol lodge once that's been built. But I cannot see anything else that is being built. Oh, it's a steep patrol lodge. The yellow line just wasn't very high yet. As you can see this is all under construction right now and we are going to expand upon this a whole lot but for now I'm just going to keep it this way and see what happens once this new has been built and when you select the slope by the way you can see all sorts of information about it you can see sign postage and the perceived difficulty and I can manually adjust the sign but of course that won't change the perceived difficulty of it and I usually just try to keep it the way it is Okay, now that we have the craving for a challenge part, I'm going to build a high altitude food kiosk. And what is volunteer assignment? Oh yeah, getting a volunteer to work at the high altitude kiosk. And of course, as you can see, we have the second slope. New signage, new perceived difficulty. And again, I can change this, but that won't change the perceived difficulty. And I would say it is the most difficult to get a red slope, because it oftentimes becomes a black slope. Instead. Right, so here we have our first spears going to the blue slope. And faster than lightning, catch me if you can. Right, so that is a skiing ability. Intermediate late. And he is only been here or he is only going to be here for five hours
Like this is looking pretty nicely. But I would almost forget that I'm going to get a service. And that is the high altitude food kiosk. I know it's kind of out of place, but that is because I wanted to keep some space in case I wanted to extend this further down this hill. I didn't want the food kiosk to be in the way. And of course, once that's been built, I'm going to assign a volunteer to it. Now, there's also this button that I cannot click on. I don't know what it is. I've never unlocked that. And I've never seen anyone using it anywhere. But we'll wait for the high altitude food kiosk to be built. And then I'll put an, a volunteer in it to work there. We now got one person available, so... We'll assign him to that. And here we have our last volunteer. Being assigned to it. And the next episode is going to be all about the safety of the skiing areas. As you can see in the right down corner of the screen, we have completed built a patrol lodge, a ski patrol lodge I should say. We haven't had anyone falling yet so that is good, that means that the ski patrol lodges haven't been used yet, but that could change at any moment. For now, I'm going to thank you for watching. I'm and I'm going to ask you to subscribe if you haven't already. This was the Gun Modded Gamer. Thanks for watching and stay Gun Modded.